Okay, I have my brows done. By the way, I hate my eyebrows. <laughs> and I got my eyes done. So let's contour, shall we? Um, we have Laura Mercier, and it is in the shade Honey Star. And this is a translucent powder, but it is a dark one. So how I use it is... Um, I lost my train of thought. Um, I bronze with it. That's how I start. Big, fat, fluffy brush. It's thin. Sorry, not fat. It is thin, and I'm going to... And I'm not going ham with it. I'm starting off light. It's buildable. Um, put it right here. Right? And we want more. We just continue on. And because you're using such a thin, fluffy brush, it kind of blends itself. And then with the leftovers, go under the chin like that. And see, it just gives you a little bit of a glow. Now, Private Society Cosmetics. This Key Essentials palette. This is my perfect shade for contouring. This is my perfect shade. This palette I have had for a long time, and I'm going to use it with this LaRousse angled brush. This is the LR304, and I'm going to dip in there. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm going under at an angle, under my cheekbone. And I'm going to concentrate on the most of the product back here. And the way I'm doing it, I'm kind of blending the two products together. But I'm not taking it on all at once. I'm starting lightly. as you can see and attempt to do the same exact thing to the other side I'm going to turn that so you can see. I'm creating me a cheekbone. There you go. How's that? I know this is kind of a long video and I do apologize. Now I'm going to take it from here to here. Just a light shadow. See, I'm going to swatch it so you can see. It's not that dark. And it is. It's literally my perfect shade. I'm light, medium, but more because it's winter, I'm on the light side. But... This is literally my perfect shade and I absolutely love this palette and I will use everything in this palette. And then we're just 
take my powder brush and I usually don't have to blend anything because it's already blended. <clears throat> now I'm going to take a flat brush, coat it really good and angle it down your nose or you can take a flat um, eyeshadow brush. go down your nose but if you're using something this small and compare to something this big you gotta make sure you're going down in a straight line and then just puff 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 just to blend now I'm going to take this funky looking brush and this is a Farrah brush um, I love this brush because it just disperses it not in one clump. It disperses it evenly. And I'm going to take this blush right here. It is a, um, it's a blush. I mean, that's all it is, but it's kind of a shimmery blush. But it gives me, because this is such a lighter palette, a beautiful, flushy, sun-kissed glow. And of course I can build it and I'm bringing it up to the side right here and right down just to the outer corner of center tip of my eye, not directly under it. right here just to give that lifting effect and I'm not going to use this highlighter because it's just a little bit of a goldy color for me but we're going to do highlighter last what I am going to use I'm going to use the back of this no I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to use this. This is technically um, is a translucent powder, but it gives you just that finishing touch. It just finishes everything off under your eye. Of wipes away anything that gives you know that got under there just kind of gives you that flawless look do you see what I mean just that picture perfect and you know you put it anywhere that you kind of want, not highlighted, but just that flawless finish. Okay. Now, let's go. This is my all-time favorite, you guys. This is the Hard Candy Just Glow, and it has the three shades right here. <clears throat> I love it. And I'm going to actually just use... A tiny little brush because I don't want a lot I just want it highlighted right here just on that cheekbone and I'm going to take this brush just to lightly dab I also have it right here on my brow bone. Just 
just place it right on the top of that socket that's coming, you know, right before it goes into your, the eye socket, the bottom of your eye socket and the top of the cheekbone socket, you know, right here, that's where I place that highlighter. And then very lightly, And you know, if you're wearing a pink blush or whatever, then right here, that looks really pretty too. And that's it. That is it. And then of course, before we do our lips, do not forget your Allegra Chetty Beauty Mist. Mm. To make everything pop and everything settle in. And what I love to do is right here under my eyes make sure the beauty mist gets in there on you know my wrinkle area so everything settles in and you know what it's vegan mm, and it's good for your skin and it makes those colors pop oh your girl needs to order more my link and my code so you can check it out for yourself is going to be down in the description box. So what do you think? I know this was really long, so sorry, we're not going to have time to do our hair. I'll have to do that on my own off camera. So let's put on Let me pause you. Okay, there we go. The lipstick is on. Sorry, that was taking a long time. <laughs> okay, so there you go. What do you guys think? The flawless look. I will insert a picture of my completed look with my hair done and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a huge video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully the next one is my Ipsy Open Studios unboxing video. <sighs> DHL is driving me crazy. Mm. so what do you guys think let me know down below and make sure you check out the allegra chetty beauty mist that's vegan beauty mist and i will see you guys the next one thank you for watching bye